Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode of the layering series that I'm doing now on my channel. I am very happy to have you here and I was also very happy to see the amount of amazing feedback that I received uh, from you when I did the first episode. In the first episode I decided to talk about Hamra by Latafa and I decided to give you like 14 something layering suggestions uh, based on different scent families and that video was so well received. Uh, I had amazing feedback on it. Uh, we also started to exchange like layering ideas among us in the comment section so that made me very happy and uh, here am I to deal with the second episode and as you can probably tell by the title today I want to focus on Nebras by Latafa. Uh, now um, I don't want to continue just with fragrances from Latafa for the next few videos I have different fragrances planned from different brands but I wanted to continue with this fragrance because of two reasons. Um, first reason lots of you have it lots of you love it uh, so it's a fragrance that I know a lot of my audience already has uh, either a sample a decant or a full bottle in your collection and second reason a lot of you complain about the performance of the fragrance and a lot of you told me that you prefer to layer this fragrance and if I could give you some layering suggestions with Nebras because you find it a bit too simplistic for your taste not all of you but some of you some of you just love it the way it is and I think there's nothing wrong with that so yes back to the video guys today I want to give you a 10 or a bit more than 10 layering suggestions with Nebras from Latafa. Again, I will go on different scent categories, you know, or like on different scent families, so it's easier to categorize everything and it's easier for you to follow. Also, please don't forget that I try my best to put timestamps for every video that I do. Uh, if you want to have like an overview of what this video is about, the kind of scent families that I will go, uh, check the description box there you can find timestamps for legit everything uh, so if you're interested just in like a specific category or just in like I don't know if you're interested in anything specific check the description box for the timestamps but let's begin of course I have my notes of course I have my notes here with me because uh, there are a lot of fragrances and I didn't want to forget any but yeah let's just begin before I start I just want to say one more thing then I promise I will go into the layering combos um, I have here various fragrances. If you don't have spe the specific fragrance that I have, please don't feel the urge to go and blind buy fragrances. Look into your collection, try to come up with something that's a little bit similar, perhaps a bit different here and there, but like take the idea and apply it and um, customize it to your own collection. And if anything, first try to get samples or decants instead of blind buying guys, because I'm telling you, even though we might have very similar taste, but our taste still differ, differs here and there sometimes, you know, so it's better for you uh, to be mindful with the way you spend your money, especially in the economy now. Don't just buy dozens of fragrances and then let's just say maybe you like them, but you don't love them and then you, what do you do with them, you know? Uh, so yeah, please be mindful of the way you spend your money especially on fragrances you have hundreds what hundreds like thousands of fragrances of course it's it's very tempting to always try to get something new to always try that fragrance there that fragrance there you know but first I would really like to encourage you to look into your own collection and see if you already have something similar because like I said in the video I did before I'm almost 100% certain certain you already have something similar so let's just begin okay so first of all i want to tell you how nebras actually smells like on its own to me of course now nebras is supposed to be latafa's take on the dna of eilish by billy eilish i think now look to me this fragrance it's a beautiful muted casual gourmand that you could wear all year round, daytime, nighttime, on its own, layered with almost anything from your collection. It's such a versatile fragrance to have. It's sweet, but it's not sickly sweet. I feel like the sweetness is toned down by the creaminess. Basically, to me, in the opening, it smells like something that's a bit minty. I know some of you told me, oh, what's wrong with you? There's nothing minty in the fragrance. Uh, other people told me, oh my God, I am getting the same vibe uh, just like you are, so yeah. Some people get the mint, other people don't. So yeah, you have something minty like in the opening. Mixed with, you know the smell of instant hot chocolate powder from Nesquik? It's that exact same same smell. So it's kind of powdery, kind of dusty, kind of chocolatey, but like more like cocoa powder, a little bit sweet, but it, it's more of a muted scent in a sense. On a base that's very like creamy and vanillic, almost, almost a little bit lactonic without fully going into the lactonic uh, scent family, let's say, you know. It's quite simplistic, it's very beautiful, it has richness to it, you know, it's not a flat fragrance. I 
can't say that it develops that much on my skin. I feel like certain nuances change here and there, you know, but I feel like the DNA itself remains the same. Beautiful fragrance. If you have tried Choco Mask from Adrihab, it's, I feel like it's very similar to that one and I will actually have a layering suggestion with that one. I will start with that one in a second. But I feel like this one is a bit more refined. It's a bit more elegant. The other one is a bit more sweet. It's a bit more, it's definitely much more sweet. I feel like this one, to me at least, it's more of like a smart gourmand or like an elegant type of gourmand, you know, because you don't smell like, uh, I don't know, like you applied like a cake on your skin and you know, and you're going out. Because I feel like because of the creaminess here, the creaminess, it's almost like it mutes down or it, yeah, I hope you can say this in English, like I hope it's an expression. Um, it tones down, you know, the level of sweetness. So even though this is sweet, but it's definitely not sickly sweet. This is how it smells like to me. Let's start with the layering suggestions. And the first category I want to talk about is chocolate slash cocoa powder. Now, since a lot of you, not the majority, Surprisingly, some people told me that the performance for this fragrance on them is amazing. Now, on me, I can't say that it's that amazing, but I, again, you guys, for the price, you know, I don't mind reapplying it, honestly. But uh, for those people who, let's just say, they have performance issues and they would like this fragrance to last longer, to be a bit more robust, a bit thicker, a bit richer, you know, to pack a punch in a sense, uh, my first suggestion is with an oil. I have here Choco Mask by Al Rehab. Now, these two, they are definitely cousins. I don't want to say they are sisters, but they are definitely cousins for sure. They smell very similar to one another, but basically I feel like this one is a tad more hmm, affordable smelling in a sense. And I don't mean this in like a negative way, but how to say it's a tad sharper in a sense, you know, also this one is very, 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 very sweet. Uh, but at the same time, if you would like a combo, and you would like to make this one last longer without changing the scent DNA too, too, too much, try these two together. The combo is amazing. You will smell amazing. I feel like this is definitely a date night appropriate type of scent or like a first date, I don't know. But like when you want to feel very feminine, a bit sweet, a bit sensual, you know, try these two together. Perhaps use a vanilla scented body lotion everywhere on your body, come with the oil, you know, on your pulse point everywhere. And also you guys, I heard people telling me that uh, they don't know how to use oils or they don't know how to apply oils or that you cannot apply oil in your hair, on your clothes. You guys, you can actually apply oil wherever you want. It's just like, let's just say the technique is a bit different. Basically, when I want to apply oil in my hair, of course you don't just like, go with oil in your hair, you know, put a bit in your palms, you know, put like, let me just show you, put like, I do, I try to do this, you know, and I try to take a little bit of the oil, then I gently do this and, uh, yeah, now I don't want to put it in my hair, but I will put it on my, <laughs> on my clothes, you know, and then you can gently do like this, you know, and go everywhere. Actually, let me put it a bit in my hair as well, because yesterday, I mean last night, I actually washed it and this morning I styled it, so why not? Let's make it smell a bit sweet. Yeah, beautiful smell, beautiful scent. Um, keep in mind, you do have to appreciate, hold on. You do have to appreciate sweet fragrances to appreciate this one. But if you have it in your collection, definitely give these ones a go. Use the oil as a base. Like I said, apply it. I don't know. Maybe if you wear something with a little bit of a dec... De How is that word in English? De <laughs> I don't know. I cannot pronounce it today. But if you wear something with like a deeper cut, you know, just like apply it on your chest, maybe uh, just like blend it in a little bit, you know, or like massage it in a little bit. Then come with this one to like few sprays on top, you know, apply it again on your pulse points behind your ears, everywhere you want. Uh, try this combo. I'm telling you for a date night scent. Smells amazing. Okay, so speaking of chocolate, let's move on to the next combo. And I have here, I have just a sample that I'm testing of this fragrance, but I am surprised by it. And I decided to include it in today's video again, in case you have this one or in case you have something, something similar to this one. I know basically the next fragrance is Chocolate Greedy from Montal. And I know Choco Mask is supposed to be an inspiration or a dupe, but you guys, to me, they are and they aren't, honestly, you know, like they're, they're, they are and they aren't. Like, um, this is much sweeter, much more gourmand, a tad sharper as well. But this legit smells like lots and lots and lots of vanilla with instant chocolate powder from Nesquik. This one, on the other hand, this one smells like 
like biscuits made with cocoa powder, but like lots of cocoa powder, you know, but you also have this like warm, slightly nutty with a slight biscuity facet in the background. It's definitely much drier. You also have your vanilla. You have some dried fruit in here that as this fragrance develop, you really get to smell the dried fruits. Also in the opening out of nowhere, I get like, um, dried mandarin orange type of smell. It's a very beautiful fragrance. And also I feel like it's not as sweet as the one from Ellery Hub. I feel like this one is actually, but again, it's less sweet, but it's more realistic. Like you legit smell like a box of uh, cocoa powder biscuits, you know? But again, I tried to layer these two together. You guys, they smelled amazing together. Oh my God, they smelled amazing. Basically, this one is definitely much more complex. You have the dark cocoa powder feel, you have the biscuity, buttery, nutty facet. You know, it's warm. You have the slight mandarin orange. So if you add nebras or if you mix them together, not only you will make nebras last much longer because this one lasts, you guys. Fragrances from Montal in general, they don't have performance issues, you know. Uh, but this one last, uh, layer these two together again, you will smell amazing date night. I don't know, or maybe when you want to feel cozy, maybe it's very, especially now that at least where I live, it's autumn, rain is coming, you know, uh, like this, like moody weather. If you want something like a pick me up type of scent, you know, to boost your mood, try these two together. You will love this combo. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one, I don't have the bottle with me because I finished the fragrance, but I feel like this combo, I have mentioned it in other videos of mine, but I got such amazing feedback on it that I have to mention it again. Uh, and that combo is with Modest Dough for women from Afnan, layered with Nebras by Latafa. Or if you do not have Nebras with Choco Mask, give it a go. Try, try. Uh, layering these fragrances together. I received amazing, amazing, amazing feedback on this combo. So again, if you have this, if you haven't tried this one from Afnan or this one, I don't know yet where the fragrance will be. Basically that one to me, um, that one is all about cherries, dark chocolate, like a dry, slightly dusty, deep chocolatey feel with patchouli, with a little bit of vanilla, you know. Also you have some like other fruity, sweet, fruity facets in the opening. To me it's like very, to me it's like very sensual fruity patchouli fragrance, you know, with dark chocolate. It does have similarities to Trésor La Nuit, but to me it actually, it's a bit smoother, a bit more, a bit more elevated, you know. If Trésor La Nuit, let's just say, is naughty and provocative, you know, I feel like this one from Afnan is a bit more mysterious, a bit more put together, but a bit more sensual at the same time, you know. So yeah, if you have that one in your collection, please try to layer it with Nebras or with Choco Mask, especially if you find the patchouli facet of the fragrance a bit too much for your taste. So yeah, now we are done with chocolate and let's move on to something that I love. Let's move on to coffee. <laughs> uh, I have here, I don't even know how many I have. Let me see, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I have here around three or four recommendations for you. Um, because of the creaminess of this fragrance and because of you all, be because you have the creaminess in this fragrance and because you already have this chocolatey feel of the scent, I feel like adding coffee to the mix is just like the cherry on top, you know? So if you have Nebras and if you have any coffee-based fragrances in your collection, definitely give it a go. I want to start with a fragrance that I feel like a lot of you have either the OG, either an inspiration, but you have something in this scent DNA. And I'm talking about Intense Cafe from Montal. Now, if you have Intense Cafe or if you have Dahab Safi by Afnan, or if you have Mocha Wood from Fragrance World, or if you have Tifal Hub, even though that one is more rosy and sugary than coffee, but I feel like if you have anything rose gourmand in this type of DNA, uh, try to layer it with Nebras and you will see, you will smell amazing. Now, in all honesty, I love how this fragrance smells like, but I have worn, I have, like I have worn a full bottle of Tifal Hub, I have worn a full bottle of the Hub Safi, I have worn this fragrance, I don't know how much I have left, but I have quite a lot left, honestly. Uh, I have Roses Vanille in my collection that I'm wearing a lot. So I have worn this DNA so, 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 so much. The point where sometimes, honestly, I feel like I'm a bit bored of it. And that's when I will add a few sprays of this one and it will just transform it in such a beautiful way. It will almost make it feel like you're wearing something new. You know, even though it's not new, it's still the same fragrance that you already have, but you just add this one as a topper. What uh, Nebras will add to Intense Cafe or to 
any other fragrance in the Intense Cafe scent family. Again, it's this beautiful creaminess. You know, I feel like Intense Cafe, if you haven't tried it, basically, to me, it smells like... Imagine the smell of a beautiful red rose without any greenness, but mixed with vanilla. And imagine you get like a cappuccino whiff in the background, you know? It's very rich, it's very dense, it's very beautiful, it's quite sensual as well. But if you would like to make it go into a bit more of a gourmand direction, let's just say maybe one day you want the creaminess to shine more, you know? apply nebras as a topper and i'm telling you you will love this combo uh, and same goes if you have the hab safi tifal hab roses uh, gourmand roses vani anything inspired uh, mocha wood uh, atiabel marshud marshud for black anything inspired from this scent family layer it with nebras and again you will have an amazing 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 fragrance again to me this combo it's like going out, you know, it's like when I want to go out, I want something that smells feminine, I want something with slight gourmand nuances, but maybe I don't want something that's like a fully, fully a gourmand fragrance, then this is the combo that I do and I love it. Also quickly, just a suggestion, in case you have Ristretto Intense Cafe in your collection, do the same. Basically, I have a video where I compare Ristretto, 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 Ristretto Intense Cafe to Intense Cafe and to me Ristretto Intense Cafe is just more coffee, more caramel. A, a tad less rose, you know, but more coffee and more caramel, slightly a bit bitter, but definitely beautiful. I enjoy how this fragrance smells as well. Again, maybe you have this one in your collection, maybe you would like to play up with the scent a little bit, you would like to add some new interesting facets, layer these two together. But yeah, let's move on to the next suggestion that I have for you. Now, this fragrance, guys, this was um, on my wish list, and someone who watches my videos, um, she wanted to gift me this fragrance and it was it was right before my birthday so it felt like a birthday gift honestly and this fragrance is so beautiful and also thank you so much to the person who gifted this fragrance to me in case you're watching my videos it's so beautiful you guys no this one i had a decant of this fragrance that again uh, someone who watches my videos but a different person i'm not going to mention names because i don't know if uh, the women want me to mention their names so i'm not going to mention the names but someone sent me a decant of this one a while ago and i have fallen in love with it to me it smells like a tiramisu legit it smells like a tiramisu like if you smell a tiramisu you get all the layers you get the coffee that's very pronounced i get something boozy rum like just like you have in tiramisu, you get the dark cocoa powder, lots of it to the point where it almost feels dusty a little bit, but very deep cocoa powder like type of dustiness, you know. But imagine instead of like the mascarpone cream, you have um, you have caramel to me, but it smells so beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. This is a true gourmand. Now, honestly, you might think that I haven't worn this fragrance a lot, but I have actually worn it almost uh, every night or every other night when I go to sleep. This is my sleep scent. I don't do a lot, you know, because of course I don't want my scent of the night to be overpowering. But I just do like one spray here, one spray here, one spray here, you know, and then I smell amazing. But again, if you would like to perhaps make this one a bit more complex, if you would like to add maybe, again, some coffee, some caramel. Basically, if you would like to add a tiramisu vibe to Nebras, layer these two together, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Here, for instance, in this case, um, I think I would apply Coffee Addict as a base and this one as a topper because Coffee Addict already being so complex, so rich, so multifaceted, such a straightforward, realistic gourmand smelling fragrance i feel like if i were to apply this one as a topper it would kind of like eat up this fragrance you know if you have this in your collection try to layer them i'm telling you you will smell like a walking snack but i, I do feel like you have to be in the mood honestly to wear these two fragrances together because unless you're a gourmand fan and not a gourmand fan for instance like a light bright and breezy type of gourmand fragrance no like a deep rich, robust, multifaceted gourmand fragrance, you know. Also, I want to highlight another fragrance. I don't have it in my collection, I have just a sample of it. But if you have Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent, I know lots of people have it, lots of people love it, some hate it, some love it. It's a very... I know the fragrance receives a lot of backlash. Honestly, I don't mind it. I love how it smells, but I, again, I've smelled it on so many people that I don't feel the need to have it in my collection, you know. I don't think it's a scent that fully represents me in this aspect. But in case you have it in your collection, and because of the fact that lots of people wear it, maybe you would like it to give it a bit of something extra. 
layer these two together and I'm telling you again you will have the DNA of black opium you will have this like again to me black opium is like attention grabbing type of fragrance you know it's like slightly provocative you know it's like uh, I'm here smell me look at me you know it's definitely a fragrance that uh, wants to announce its presence you know but if you would like it to give it a bit more creaminess if you would like maybe to add again a bit of cocoa powder there that will mix very well with the coffee with the vanilla with the patchouli in this one these two together again it's a combo that it if you have these two, it's a shame not to try it, you know? And also, guys, I forgot to show you another combo when it, I was talking about chocolate. Uh, now, um, if you have anything inspired by Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone, I have here the Rich Extract version. I love it. I love it. It's a fragrance that I have so many amazing memories with it. I don't wear it a lot now because I cannot find it anymore. <sighs> I don't have a lot of it left, honestly. I don't, I don't even know if you can see how much I have left of it. But I love how it smells. It's so beautiful, so deep, so sensual, so alluring yet mysterious. It's, it's This fragrance is a whole vibe, if you ask me. And it's a rose-forward fragrance to me. This is all about rose with the other notes, almost like giving slight facets to the rose accord, you know? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. If you see it around for a good price, to me it's worth it. It lasts forever, like legit this fragrance lasts forever. I think it's one of the most long-lasting fragrances that I have in my collection, besides my Montaus and my Manceras. And it smells quite, it smells very realistic in a sense. It smells like, like a beautiful, deep, very flavored, not flavored, scented red rose with with this deep, milky, dark, chocolatey like feel in the background. It's not, how to say, it's not really lactonic, lactonic, like in a sense that it smells like milk, but it's, it smells so beautiful. It smells like really dark chocolate, like really dark chocolate, like dark chocolate, but like a high quality dark chocolate. And you, it's almost like you melt it, like you melt it in like a little bit of milk, you know? So it's very dark chocolatey, slightly creamy, slightly milky. It's amazing, it's so alluring and it's so mesmerizing. I don't know, every time I smell this fragrance, it's it's gorgeous. Now, if you would like perhaps to amplify, I know this one, uh, I don't get a lot of greenness in this fragrance, uh, but if you have anything like this, let's just say, and maybe you get a bit of greenness or maybe you have some patchoulis that in certain fragrances, the like patchouli with rose that in certain fragrances they kind of overpower the scent a little bit try it again to layer it with nebras because of the creaminess and because you already have the dark cocoa powder feel here you will just amplify this like deep creamy chocolatey facet and again these two together they smell amazing so let's move on to the next category and of course i had to include some spicy recommendations you guys i'm a spice lover like through and through you know i love my spices and the first one i want to start with is tom ford noir for women or the version for men whichever one you have or in case maybe you don't have this fragrance uh because i know it's discontinued and it's very hard to find perhaps you would like to find something similar you know and more affordable then i have a recommendation for you this one is called trecento noir this is from paris corner of course it's not it's not as complex it's not as multifaceted you know it's not as um it's not as smooth as refined you know as this one is but again if you want an affordable version i think it's an amazing version honestly i have a video where i talk about this fragrance so feel free to watch it if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts about it but basically if you have anything in the noir pour femme family layer it with nebras you guys i did this combo i think last week i did it it smelled amazing, honestly, honestly it smelled amazing. I feel like because this one, if you haven't tried uh, this one from Tom Ford, basically this, this one already has this creamy, like thick milky feel already with a bunch of spices thrown in the mix, like cardamom with ginger, you have some vanilla, some almost like bitter sweet citruses, you know, it's a very complex fragrance. Sometimes it leans balsamic and amberby, other times I smell it and it makes me think of like 
thick condensed milk with a little bit with imagine like thick condensed milk you add there some like dried um, orange or like mandarin orange peel you add there like one vanilla pot you add there like few cardamom pieces you know and you add there like some ginger powder and you stir it very well yeah this is how it smells to me it's so beautiful so decadent so again Honestly, I feel like this is one of my favorite fragrances in general, not just from Tom Ford. It's a DNA that I love. You have here lots of beautiful decadent facets with sweet spices. Sweet spices are my favorite ones. And again, you have you already have this like milky undertone to the fragrance. So if so if you layer this one with nebras you will smell amazing honestly you will smell amazing and again what nebras will add to the mix imagine you add like a cocoa powder thrown in there in the whole condensed milk with a vanilla pot with everything else you know you add a bit of cocoa powder and you amplify the creaminess you amplify the electronic feel of the fragrance yeah especially now that the autumn season is here if you have these two fragrances please try them now let me quickly highlight a fragrance that i just recently <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do that again so let me quickly highlight a fragrance that i have just recently talked about it in i think my latest video this one is called nashit from latafa uh look should i give you spoilers i love this fragrance okay so here is the spoiler i love this fragrance to me it's worth the hype to me it smells like like sweetened lemon, like sweet lemon juice with sugar, with ginger, with cardamom. In the heart you have some like biscuity, buttery almost like facets, some creaminess, the softest woody hint. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful, sweet, spicy fragrance. And again, the ginger, the way they did the ginger here, to me, the ginger reminds me of the ginger from Noir Pour Femme or from the Noir Range from Tom Ford. Also, it reminds me a bit of the ginger from Instant Crush from Mancera or Super Crush, you know, so it's this powdered ginger. And here you have pow dark cocoa powder and here you have powdered ginger. Here you have a biscuity feel with lemon juice with sugar here you have a creamy lactonic like feel almost like a creamy vanilla lactonic feel layer these two together you will make this one a tad bit more feminine to me this one how to say it's not like your straightforward feminine fragrance but it's neither like a unisex fragrance that leans masculine to me i could easily wear this fragrance without feeling like i wear i'm wearing a man's fragrance you know but again if you would like maybe to amplify even more the creaminess if you would like to make it a bit even sweeter you know perhaps more creamy, perhaps more gourmand, layer these two together, you will smell amazing. You know, the video I was telling you, I will uh, experiment with some layering options. Yes, I did this one, it smelled amazing. So speaking of spices, I want to highlight another fragrance that I spoke about a few months ago on my channel. This one is called Eshkal Gold by Latafa. This is from the Pride collection. <laughs> and this one to me, Again, I think this layering combo, I mentioned it in the review I did for the fragrance as well, but I will mention it again for the sake of the video. This one to me smells, it smells very interesting. It smells very unusual, very creative, very artistic, yet very bold and statement at the same time. To me, it smells, it smells creamy, metallic, sweet, with a sugared suede accord in the background. I know it's supposed to be an inspiration or a dupe of Baby Cat and of... Uh, uh oh yeah uh, the one from rosendo matteo number five i think i haven't tried those two fragrances so i cannot compare them but this one on its own is definitely bold unapologetic but also a bit unusual you know but it's a beautiful fragrance beautiful beautiful decadent statement fragrance in case let's just say maybe you struggle a bit with the look to me i detect something that smells like imagine something sweet and metallic but with a creamy texture and then you add there uh like a sugar suede accord you know so it's very sweet very creamy very metallic very sugary with a suede feel uh, i know some people might struggle a bit especially with the opening of this fragrance or or perhaps with the suede accord there now in case you struggle with this fragrance and you would like to perhaps come up with some layering ideas you know to make it a bit more wearable for yourself or you just want to change it up let's just say maybe you you go on a date night and you love this fragrance and you want it to smell a bit more feminine you know and you want to smell a bit more creamy you know then again try it with nebras what nebras will add 
is a beautiful creaminess. You know, it will amplify the creaminess that you already have in this fragrance. It will amplify the sweetness without being too much and it, it will also add a beautiful cocoa powder touch to the scent. So to me, it's honestly, it's a match made in heaven if you have this too. Let's move on to another spicy fragrance that it's a fragrance that I feel like I am emotionally connected <laughs> with. This one is Rosewood from Ajmal. <sighs> this fragrance... This fragrance to me, look, if you want a fragrance from a Middle Eastern brand that smells, first of all, the presentation, impeccable, 10 out of 10. The smell, impeccable, 10 out of 10, if you ask me. If you want something that's timeless, that's elegant, that's classy, with a Middle Eastern feel, but not too, too Middle Eastern leaning to the point where, let's just say, you will have a hard time wearing it outside, depending on where you live, you know, then try out this fragrance. I'm telling you, it's... Yeah, I love it. I love it. Again, it's not my most worn fragrance. The thing is, I feel like because I feel like I'm emotionally connected with this fragrance, I need a really important event to pull it out, you know? Like, I don't know. It's almost like I can wear it for like whatever type of event, you know? I need something, something more special to me to wear this fragrance. But because I had this one in my collection again for a lot of years, this was the gift from my partner and I love it. Um, sometimes maybe I feel the need to layer it with something else. And again, I started to layer it with Nebras. What basically, if you haven't tried, basically if you haven't tried the rose wood from Ashmal, it's a beautiful, really dry, warm, woody fragrance with wood with a very dry very dry rose accord without any greenness with some abstract cooking spices with a touch of vanilla there something slightly powder in the background but the theme or like the key element of this fragrance is dry this fragrance feels very dry very robust but it feels timeless it feels elegant it feels sophisticated you know it's the kind of fragrance that it's something else without being too challenging, you know, neither without, and it's neither mainstream to me. Yeah, to me it's a very special fragrance and because it has this, it already has this like dry feel to it, I feel like dry fragrances layer amazing with creamy fragrances because they just complement each other, you know, very well. So again, if you have this one in your collection, uh, layer it with Nebras, I'm telling you, Perhaps if you want to make it a bit more approachable, if you want to make it a bit more, a bit more playful, let's just say, a bit more playful, I feel like layering it with Nebras, or I will give you another hint. If you have Intense Cafe, layer Rosewood with Intense Cafe, or the Habsafi, or Mocha Wood, or Tifal Hub, or the whole, the whole shebang, you know, the whole family. Layer the two together, those two together, they smell amazing, you guys. It's such a beautiful, decadent statement type of scent without being too challenging you know you have the woody deep facet you have the wood you have the rose you have the coffee you know and if you layer it with this one you have the cocoa powder that layers very well with the spices with the vanilla there and you also have the creaminess that it's like it, it feels like these two melt into one another you know now i would use rosewood as a base and this one as a topper because if you were to use this one as a base because of how heavy rosewood by Ajmal is, I feel like you wouldn't be able to smell this fragrance, you know. And layer this one as well, like if you have any fragrances that are very like dry and woody um, and you would like to make them a bit more creamy, but they still need to have a little bit of sweetness. Like you have anything that's like dry, woody with a hint of sweetness, you could easily add this one as a topper and it will smell amazing, 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 amazing. Uh, you could also layer this one with Khaled by Latafa. A beautiful combo. I know I recommended you to layer that one with anything vanillic forward to bring out the sweetness, to bring out the more feminine feel of the fragrance, because to me that fragrance, you have the feminine nuances, but then you also have the masculine nuances. And you know, to me, they fall in the middle both, because to me it's a perfect unisex, but I know some women might struggle with that fragrance and with the more masculine nuances. But in case you have in case you struggle, add nebras as a topper or layer it with anything vanillic but again you guys i feel like these combos are for those times when you want a heavier fragrance you know i feel like the combos that i mentioned in the beginning of the video are the kind of combos that are when you want something a bit more lighter i hope i'm making sense uh, so let's move on to the next category 
Okay, so let's move on to the last category for today's video and I had no idea how to call this fragrance so I called it the sweet and creamy. Basically I include here like sweet gourmand fragrances, sweet designer fragrances or fragrances with a beautiful creamy undertone to them. Uh, so yeah, the first one I want to recommend you to layer with Nebras uh, is La Belle Parfum by Jean Paul Gaultier. Look, this fragrance on its own, I love it, it's a staple in my collection. Um, if you have it in your collection and maybe you know other people who wear it as well, maybe you would like it to be a bit more unique, maybe you would like to add a little bit of creaminess to it, layer these two together, they would work amazing. Now what I love to do, I love to apply them on different parts of my body. I don't like to apply them one on top of the other. I feel like in this combo, for both of them to have a chance to shine, um, I prefer to apply them on different parts of my body. So let's just say maybe I apply this one I don't know, like behind my ears, on my skin, a little bit on my clothes, and then maybe I come with this one, just like random, just like randomly spraying few sprays at the end, you know, of my fragrance routine, something like this. See what works for you, but if you have this two in your collection, try to layer them together. I told you, this one is a creamy, vanillic fragrance with a beautiful cocoa powder smell. It smells delicious, honestly. Sweet, but not sickly sweet. This one is a decadent beautiful caramelized pear with a heavy ambery base but it's it's such it's such a different scent in a sense from the designer section i was so surprised when i smelled it i i knew i wanted to have it in my collection and i want to have this one in my collection forever that's the first recommendation let's move on to the next one if you have this one in your collection I think I have mentioned in the review that I did for this fragrance, this is Sacred Palace from Parfumani, layer it with Nebras. Look, to me, Sacred Palace is a beautiful mix between Trésor La Nuit and Chagaf Oud. Um, you have the sweet citruses from Trésor La Nuit with that like fruity, tropical fruity feel. You have this from Trésor La Nuit, but you also have the rose. You have the rose from Chagaf Oud with a dry down of its own. This one leans quite like tonic in the heart, quite like it smells like a beautiful red rose accord that's quite gourmand without any greenness with something that's slightly milky and slightly caramel like, you know, beautiful scent, beautiful scent. Um, again, if you have this one and you would like to maybe play with it, you know, in different layering combos, if you love layering in general, or maybe you would like to amplify the creaminess, I, I did this combo, you guys, do this combo, you will smell freaking amazing. I did this one when I was going out with my friends, I smelled amazing. Uh, what this one will add to this one from Parfumane, it will amplify the creaminess, of course, that like creamy, like tonic base, it will be even more pronounced. Uh, and it will also amplify the sweetness because you have vanilla here, and it will also add a beautiful cocoa powder touch to the scent, but I feel like the main thing that it will do, it will it will amplify the creaminess. Now let's move on to the next combo when it comes to creamy fragrances and I have to give credit where it's due. Uh, this was not my idea. Uh, I will insert the comment here, I will look for it. But this uh, suggestion came from, I hope I'm saying her handle correctly, Miss Sunny D, I think uh, her YouTube handle is called. Um, and in the video where I talked about Kyle Del Forsan, the unlimited version from La Tafa, I said that uh, I tried to layer it with Coconut Passion from Victoria's Secret. And to me, it was like a low key, a major fail. Um, and I was asking for layering suggestions. And she told me she's, she's, she has amazing ideas. She's also very passionate about layering. I see that she also gives layering suggestions and she helps other people in the comments when it comes to their fragrances. So she knows what she's talking about, you guys. Um, she suggested me to try it with Nebras. I tried these two together and they smelled amazing. They smelled amazing. Now, the thing is, this one, if you haven't watched uh, my video where I talk about it, this one is a very beautiful and realistic milky fragrance. To me, it smells like, like baby milk, you know, like condensed, not uh, like, um, how do you call it? Like powder formula, you know, for babies with sweet condensed milk uh, and with the creamy sandal within the background and a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, it's beautiful. But in the opening, you have this interesting, almost like cold refreshing bergamot that kind of, um, kind of for me throws the composition a bit off in this aspect, you know, because I, I don't know why they added it, honestly, to me, it just doesn't work there for my taste. But I also heard feedback from people who actually love this bergamot feel in the opening. They feel like it gives it this edgy vibe and I agree, it definitely gives it an edgy vibe. Um, now, she suggested me to layer these two together uh, and it works amazing. 
it works amazing i feel like in the opening for let's just say maybe five to six minutes give it time give it time because you have the mint feel here you have the bergamot here but then you have the creaminess in the background now imagine you have but i think to fully appreciate this combo you need to appreciate lactonic fragrances you have the thick condensed milk feel with the baby formula type of smell uh with the creamy vanillic dark chocolate not chocolate it's more like cocoa powder you know like nesquik cocoa powder now imagine you put this together you smell amazing again i don't think it's for everyone but if you have been looking for some layering suggestions with these fragrances especially with this one try it but i'm telling you give it a few moments you know um until when you should let it a bit sit and not really smell it so much until the bergamot here starts to fade a little bit uh then it's where the creamy part starts to shine more you know that's when you get what's most delicious about these two fragrances in my opinion so let's move on to i think one of the last or the last layering combo i have to check my nose after this to see uh, this is with the fragrance from kayali now i have the full bottle but i don't have it here with me i have here with me the travel version and you know what i was thinking especially that in the past i think one month i went to two weddings um I was thinking, and I took this decant with me, I was thinking how amazing it would have been if Kayali would have actually made this one like uh, twistable, you know, like to be able to open it because I have a full bottle of the other fragrance, I have the biggest version available and I was thinking to myself like it would have been amazing if I would have been able to just decant from that bigger bottle into this small bottle and just carry this one with me and leave the other one at home because the other one honestly gets scratched and once it starts to get scratched it looks kind of ugly and I thought to myself how amazing it would have been if they actually made it possible enough about <laughs> this aspect what I wanted to say is if you have this fragrance and you would like again to play out with some layering suggestions I know I mentioned in an older video a layering combo with this one sugared patchouli and coffee addict by Teodoro Scalotinis. I still stand 1000% by that layering combo it smells amazing you guys you get it's almost like those two fragrances they melt into one another it's deep it's statement it's bold it's out there but it's sweet and playful and fun at the same time it's everything you want in a fragrance honestly so if you have those two definitely layer them but also if you have nebras and you have this one sorry Hold on, if you have never asked and you have this one, uh, give this layering combo a go. It will amplify the creaminess here, especially if perhaps you're struggling a little bit with something in this fragrance. You would just want to make it a bit more creamy, a bit more, a bit more sweet at the same time or a bit more feminine. Look to me, this is a feminine fragrance. Uh, I know, I think they marketed this one as unisex. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there are men who love it but for me this is feminine enough you know I don't feel the need to layer it with anything sweet honestly but sometimes when I'm in a creative mood and I want to layer it with something I layer it, I layer it either with nebras or with um, coffee addict from Teodoro Scalotinis so yeah I think these were my layering suggestions for today's video uh you know what guys let me just check my notes and then I will come back so I will make sure that I haven't forgotten anything yeah of course I forgot to I mean I almost forgot to basically uh when I was speaking about rosewood from Ajmal and I mentioned that if you have any fragrances with a very pronounced dry woody feel and you would like maybe to add a little bit of creaminess to them I also wanted to give you another suggestion but I forgot uh, the suggestion that I have is campfire now if you have campfire in your collection this is an inspiration campfire from Paris Corner this is an inspiration of by the fireplace by Maison Margiela to me it's a beautiful fragrance the only thing is it's not really the best performing one but scent wise it's beautiful it's you have this like fume woody feel with something like burnt marshmallows in a sense and it's almost like you add there like a little like few drops of vanilla essence on top of like few, few pieces of wood and you have like a fire underneath them you know so they're like slightly fume slightly burnt you know if you would like to layer this fragrance especially if you're a woman if you would like to give it a bit more of a feminine edge let's say a bit more of a playful edge layer it with nebras this combo is beautiful you guys beautiful and again also if you're a man do this combo as well if let's just say you're interested in it you know i feel like it's important to wear whatever makes you happy but yeah this is that and i also i wanted to highlight pussy cherry if you have this fragrance you guys it smells so beautiful layered with nebras 
so beautiful honestly i would actually apply this one as a topper because i would like the cherry almondy feel to shine more but imagine like the smell of cherries mixed with almonds with a little bit of vanilla you know this one smells like cherry combo to me with almonds um and imagine you add to the mix like a creamy vanillic chocolatey dark chocolate type of dark, or like dark cocoa smell you know beautiful either do them on separate parts of your body either do them together i would say like strength wise they're around the same level to me so if you were to apply this one as a base or if you were to apply this one as a topper and you were to mix it and you were to mix it with nebras i don't think it would overpower the fragrance if you were to deconstruct nebras you have the once the minty aspect fades away to me you have the creaminess it's almost like a creamy vanillic not fully pudding like vibe but almost like a little bit vanilla pudding with a little bit of something like tonic and creamy you know that's the creamy accord with cocoa powder you know so i feel like you could add a bunch of other notes in the mix you know and they will smell amazing together anything dry and woody with spices anything sweet designer like with fruit you know anything with chocolate all the suggestions anything with cocoa powder you know oil format um EDP format, EDT format, body spray format, body lotion format, you know, anything that you enjoy, anything that you have in your collection, definitely, definitely give, give them a go because I'm telling you, Nebras on its own, I feel like it's a very beautiful fragrance. For my taste, it's a bit more simplistic, you know, I prefer fragrances that are a bit more complex, a bit more heavy, a bit more bit more of a statement fragrance and i feel like for my taste if i were to wear nebras on its own without layering it with any body oil nothing for me it would be a bit too simplistic you know but i feel like here i have a lot of beautiful layering recommendations and i feel like they would work amazing also you guys nebras with honey i think would work amazing i haven't tried these combos honestly yet but i told you anything with chocolate with cocoa powder with rose with vanilla with caramel with suede you know with other creamy facets they would work amazing so yeah uh, this is everything i wanted to say thank you so much for watching you guys don't forget please just go into your collection go into where you keep your fragrances look at your fragrances take out nebras and just have fun have fun and see what you come up with don't feel the pressure to buy the same fragrances that i have i'm sure you already have something in your collection that you could use you know so yeah thank you so much for watching you guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a like leave me a comment if you have any layering suggestions with nebras please put them down below and let's all share our tips and let's all smell amazing together i had a, such an amazing time filming this video just like i did with the first video honestly i am loving this layering series because I am the kind of person I love to layer my fragrances, not all the time, but when I love to layer, I layer them, you know, and I love to come up with unique layering combos. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm having the time of my life, you know, like just like testing, trying and trying out fragrances and different layering combos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. Here is my handle. I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Uh, but until then, thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.